Hey guys, it's Nye and welcome to my world. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if this is your first time. Um, I know those of you who are used to this channel are seeing things a little bit different. I started this channel to just journey my, um, I guess, journey to healing. And I kind of dropped the ball in a lot of things. And I really took a step back. But I wanted to show you guys fully what my world is. So this right here is vulnerability at its best. This is a couch that I've had for a few years. Um, I've always been wanting to replace it. But you know when things just keep getting pushed to the back of the list. My daughter spilled slime on it. Um, the kids from jumping on the couch broke the elastic underneath. Um, it's just seeing better days. And while I wanted to obviously repurchase just a brand new couch, A, the funds were not there, <laughs> and B, I was just like, you know what, maybe it has a little bit of life left in it, and let me just try to see if I can just save it from, you know, the sanitation, from the dump. Like, everything falls there. I try to look conscious. I try to look green. So let's just see. And that's exactly what I did. So if you have a project you've been putting off, I hope this provides motivation and I hope it gives you encouragement to try to just, you know, get it done. Get off your butt, get off your behind and actually make some changes. I am showing you guys the nitty gritty of this couch. Like I said, they broke the underneath thing, <laughs> the elastic. Um, they have every crumb and everything inside of here, even if I clean it regularly. But, you know, if you have kids, you know. So... Sit back, relax, I'll pop in here and there, but you know, I really just want you guys to to enjoy. So the seat cushion always dipped and I never knew why. I thought that they just broke the cushion and it wasn't until I turned it over that I saw that they had actually ripped the elastic that was actually holding up the cushion. So um, I purchased some and I just added it into the webbing. Don't know if you can actually see where it was replaced, but you'll see my daughter also broke the back um, board and that also had to be replaced with a, you know, thin piece of wood. Um, the options that I had were these. The lighter gray is actually the one that I went with. Took the potty couch, took, took and um, just started seeing how things were, laying out my patterns, putting the fabric together to sew. And I started with the undercarriage, obviously, first. This was the chase. This was the replaced version of it. And this kind of gave me encouragement. So I started with the smaller piece just to kind of see how it would be. And once I got the hang of this, I was like, okay, let's move on to the next. And that's what we did. So as you can see, this is the undercarriage of the couch. Um, then came the side, I guess the handles. Um, cut the pattern, put them together, just measured everything out, and then just got to sewing.
So after sewing um, the pieces together, it was a moment of the truth to actually see if it fit properly. So here I am, just dry fitting everything before I actually removed the um, inner fabric, just in case it wasn't working out. So after I dry fit the pieces um, and made sure they fit how I'd like them to, then it was time to start stapling them on to each individual piece. This was the tedious part. Uh, I must have used about a billion staples and it's just really just, <laughs> just doing the same thing over, just trying to staple it taut enough onto the, um, pulling the fabric tight enough and then stapling it in place to keep it on the actual boards. Now, parents of little ones, you guys know, snack time waits for no one. So, yes, yeah, she had to come in for her request. And 
they would either pay up with some snacks or basically have her sit there and it didn't bother me until I gave in, which of course you guys know we always do. And look, look what she uses that moment for. Look what she does. <laughs> yeah, like in that with her. The old um, color, the darker color, there's the lighter color. Many people wonder why I went with the lighter colors. Honestly, there really wasn't much options in the fabric store. It was either the darker gray, like I showed you, and this color. And the darker gray, it just had such a like gloomy color. I wasn't a fan, so I just decided to take my chances with the lighter color and get some um, stain blocking spray and just figure it out. So now here, the chase portion of the couch is always my portion. And of course the kids be hating because they want to lay down too. So I decided to just add an, another one of the same dimensions on the other side to give another option of a chase as well to someone else. So look at her face. She just woke up from a nap when I put that there. And here's the couch without the chase. And we're coming. There's a the couch with the chase. <laughs> I am a binge watcher of furniture flipping DIY and when I tell you this was the hardest video I have ever done the amount of times I put up the angles and <laughs> it, it was just a challenge but it was an adventure and I sucked through it guys be gentle with me this is my first time posting something like this and I really want to know what you think so if you're not already please like subscribe and share and until next time peace